Well, the scout has been on for today. I've been driving around trying to find some geese to hunt and I've got a spot locked down for tomorrow. I hunted it last week or two weeks ago. I can't remember how long ago it's been, but I've hunted this pond before. One of the biggest things that I've been using when driving around scouting is Onyx. And one of my favorite features that I've got now is CarPlay. So uh, if you guys can see this, I've got my Onyx pulled up on the dash of my truck. So I'm able to look at my waypoints. Uh, I like to mark spots that I, I wanna check out. So I use a specific color for that. And as I'm driving, I can look at my map without having to like pull my phone out. So huge, huge, huge uh, benefit to using that. If you guys don't have Onyx, there is a link and a coupon code down below that you guys can use to save some money. But from what I can tell, this should be a good shoot. I'm gonna try and call some people, see if they can come by and help me out with these geese. So fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully it works out. That's the plan. We're gonna to have to walk everything in. It's been muddy and rainy and gross. So um, hopefully it's not too bad of a walk in there, but I guess time will tell. So stay tuned guys. Hopefully we can get after the geese tomorrow morning. <coughs> 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 Here we go. Cora. That girl. <laughs> Here. Huh. Drop, add a girl, add a girl, place. No bands. This guy is still alive though. Well, good morning, guys. We're set up on a goose pond today. Cora's pretty pumped. She likes hunting geese a lot, apparently. I think she likes geese more than ducks. But uh, yeah, I came down here a little later this morning because it was, it was pouring rain and it cleared off about seven o'clock. Downside to this pond, I had to walk everything in. So it was like 350 yard walk to get everything down here. So I got 18 decoys, a layout blind, and dingling. So um, it was a bit chaotic this morning. All the geese were here. And uh, all I had to do was uh, walk down here, throw some decoys out, and one flew over low enough to shoot. So most of them left uh, before I took my shot. So hopefully they can all come back. But what's been happening lately is Seems like what's been happening lately is geese will sit on a pond, sun up to sundown, eat grass all day, and not fly. I'm sure everybody who's watching this video is experiencing the same thing where the season has just been super slow, no migration, south winds, if you even have any wind, and uh, it's 50 degrees this morning and uh, Christmas is coming up. So conditions have not been conducive to hunting and uh, it's just been a lot of homework trying to find places to hunt. So fortunately, I found this pond, scouted it out yesterday morning, and I guess they roosted on it last night. Landowner said that he came down here to work cattle yesterday, and there weren't any birds on it, so... And he said he did it in the evening. So I don't know where they went. They must have come back. These geese have been on this pond for a month, so it's... Uh, just hard getting them to leave a good spot, I guess. So we're gonna sit here. I got two more birds to go. I've got a whiny dog. I know it, you don't have to comment about it. I've got a solution coming soon, so stay tuned. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just sit it out here today. Hopefully get our last two birds. <coughs> 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 Mm. 
Well, there's bird number two. Been having some issues today. Uh, birds are not wanting to decoy. They're not wanting to get low. Um, I don't know if it's my hide. They're seeing the dog. They're seeing me. They're seeing whatever's going on. Uh, they're dropping down like they're going to commit, but they never commit. So I think, I mean, I only got one bird to go until I got my limit. So whenever one flies by, if it's low enough to shoot, I'm just going to shoot it. Um, it's just not a perfect situation day. I mean, there's just, there's no wind and it's 50 degrees and it's just been a little bit rough. Uh, seeing birds, which is good. Uh, did a good job scouting this out and getting on here, but you know, it's just, it's not working like I'd like it to work, but it's working. So I just need to keep that in mind. And if I get a shot, I'm gonna just take it. I'm not gonna wait for them to start dropping down, backpedaling over the decoys, because from what I can tell, that's just not gonna happen today. Um, <sighs> it's frustrating. Still shooting birds, which is good, but they're just not doing quite what I was hoping would happen, which, you know, <laughs> when does that ever happen, really? So we're going to stick it out here. Uh, I was going to pack it up there for a while. It was slow. It's still been slow. But I'm seeing some movement, so, I mean, all I need is one more goose. I think it can be done. Well, that'll wrap up this morning's hunt. Just got... Two, so one shy of my limit, so you know, it is what it is. Not much I can do about the conditions. I did check the weather and it looks like there's gonna be some decently cold weather moving through after Christmas. So hopefully this situation doesn't last too much longer because if it does, it's gonna be a rough end of the season. But uh, you know, I don't know what happened today to be really honest with you guys. For one, this was a roost. Found that one out. Um, two, we have no wind. Three, I couldn't, I, I didn't feel like I could get the hide quite right. Maybe I was sitting too close to the edge of the pond. I'd moved from here to there. So, I mean, I tried a couple of different things. And, uh, I mean, these birds, they just didn't really want to, they didn't want anything to do with it. I mean, they'd, they'd get down and they'd see something, whether it was no wind in the decoys, they saw the blind, they saw Cora, they saw just the whole setup, they knew something was up, I don't know. But what I do know is, it was a successful hunt. Um, we all have days like this. this is, I mean, this was supposed to be a pretty good shoot. I called a bunch of people, nobody could come. So, you know, it is what it is. But man, it's a little bit of a bummer when things don't work out quite like you hoped they would. But at the end of the day, this was a successful hunt. So 
nothing to uh, complain about because I mean it could, it could have been a lot worse so uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up here if you guys enjoyed it leave me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one